Okay, so today we're going to talk about my minimalist wardrobe. A lot of it's kind of in the wash, so you won't see a large portion of it, and I just wanted to get this video sorted. I try to keep a limit to what I own in my wardrobe, and usually it's like six shirts, which includes like a vest or two vests, preferably one pair of jeans. The current pair of jeans I have are falling apart, but my family is coming over, so uh, they bought some a pair of jeans for me, so that will just replace my old pair and I might turn my old pair into like something useful I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I'm going to recycle them into something and I Used to have a ton a ton of socks I really didn't need that many all of them were the same the exact same kind of sports sock and a lot of them had holes in them, a lot of them were worn out, there was no reason for me to have them. Literally at Christmas I got a big 10 pack, uh, 10 pairs of socks from my parents and I was like, I have too many socks now. I have my old socks, I have my new socks. I like my new socks because they're Marvel themed and that's great because, um, you know, I'm... I'm very much a fan of like Stanley and stuff and since he passed away I was super sad but then they gave me them and I was like I like these, they're comfy, they're warm, they're nice and long so they cover my calves and stuff and keep me warm for winter um, that's, that's plenty, I, I still have a few pair, old pairs that I got rid of a lot so I've managed to minimise that but yeah, so I'm going to show you how I store my wardrobe for the most part and I will explain what I want to do to minimize it even more than I currently have. This is where I keep my, my clothing. Now, this is where, like, all my kitchen stuff. And here, the, the, these two drawers are about, nine, about 80 to 90 percent of my clothing. So, at the back are my sweaters. I, I have three. I kind of want to bring it down to two, but that's all I got at the moment. And these are all my socks, and then like long sleeves, my two pairs of um, gym shorts, my bigger three length quarter, uh, three quarter length shorts, um, a bandana for cycling. Um, my t uh, t-shirts go here. Usually there's six. I just kind of roll up, and I will show you how I roll them up like this, because it just helps me see what I have, and then obviously boxers. Down here is my trousers, my, my baggy trousers. I only have two in here at the moment. Um, I have a bunch of space because uh, my parents are coming over with a bunch of stuff, but here would like old jeans. Here's just kitchen towels. And that's it really for the drawers. That's all I have. And here is just coats, so work coat, general coat. I just keep my towel up here because it just it's easier to have it hung up. And then here just work stuff, my cycling gear, more cycling gear up here and stuff, that's just more kit. Um, it's my house coat, another kind of a cardigan sweater thing. Yeah, that's the laundry I need to do. My scarves and my big, big jacket. This is all the stuff I've been wearing uh, today and most of this week is coming near to the end of the week so this also will be going to the wash. But yeah, that's... A very quick rundown of what I have at the moment and what's coming in. I'm currently just wearing like pajamas and stuff and some may say my wardrobe is quite small and my goal is to keep my wardrobe to two, those two drawers. I do want to kind of minimize my wardrobe stuff at the moment. Uh, maybe bring it down to just like my like one jacket. I might get the... I might eventually get rid of the house coat but my friend gifted that to me and it is really comfy and baggy and just warm. It's actually really nice. I kind of want to wear it now, but it's a little too warm right now to wear it. That's basically like my winter stuff. A lot of it I just layer on. I don't like having big thermal things. I usually just put on what's on. I do have my thermal cycling jacket, which I wear quite often when cycling to work or when I'm cycling in delivery because it's... it keeps me warm really well. A lot of this stuff I've, a lot of this clothing I've had before I became a minimalist, so a lot of it I'm just using, like this shirt is from Toy Soldiers Unite. 
I am a part of that group, they're a creative group, uh, they're really cool. Cool people. This is an old design done by one of my friends who is an artist who does designs for the group and it's just a really comfy shirt. I had two, I don't know where the second one went. It's probably still at home somewhere in a drawer. But it's like the design is starting to crumble and fade, which kind of adds to the the design a little bit but it is starting to fall apart I only get rid of t-shirts if they start getting like holes in the seams and stuff um, and even then sometimes I'll keep it because it kind of looks cool because it's like all worn out and kind of that kind of vibe but if it gets to a point where it's basically un unwearable I do eventually go okay I either should re repurpose the material or throw it away <laughs> I'm the kind of person who wears something until it's basically falling apart. My parents hate that, but that's just the way I am. I'm, I don't feel the need to constantly buy stuff when it comes to clothing. I don't really have the need to f follow the trends. Actually, funny thing, I got into the baggy trousers like, what, a year ago? And I noticed recently that the trend of these kind of like really baggy kind of they're called harem harem trousers or harem pants and I've noticed it's becoming a trend in fashion I'm like I've that's me I got into that before it was cool <laughs> so I'm just I, I laugh because I like them because they're really comfy but I'm actually starting to kind of not like them anymore kind of feel like I'm growing away from, like I'm, I'm, I'm moving away from them again Going, going back to jeans because it's just jeans are more useful and because my jobs, you know, cycling, baggy trousers don't really work well with bikes and my other job, I'm working and cleaning moderately high-end offices so they don't really want you to be, you know, too casual. So I usually have to wear like black trousers when working at the office and cleaning the offices so I don't get to wear my trousers as often as I usually do and my way of minimalism is if I don't use it often then I probably don't need it. Like my trousers I don't wear as often even when I'm not working I tend to sway toward wearing my jeans. Maybe it's just because the weather is just so cold it's easier to wear some thermal layer underneath and then my jeans. I don't know. I just feel that my wardrobe is slowly evolving. I will still keep the items until I, if they wear through or I find a better purpose for the material because I always believe in uh, if something loses its use, there's probably another use for it. Maybe not something as conventional as the previous use. Like if this started falling apart, I could still use the black cloth to like patch up other items of clothing or make something entirely new out of it like um, a coin pouch so I could put all my coins in it but I don't need to do that because my wallet has like a little section to put coins in so yeah I probably could find other purposes for this material that's how I do it but I do want to move into something that I've been meaning to get into eventually. Not right now, but in the future when I do need to buy more t-shirts or trousers, I want to do some more research behind the clothing I buy. And I did mention this a little bit in my previous video. Um, I want to be much more sustainable and ethical in the things that I purchase. And um, the one way for me to do that is to do my research look at the company that I'm buying from, see how they source out their materials, where do they source out their materials, is it ethical, is it sustainable, is it something that I feel that if I buy it I'm happy to support that company. When I found this shoe company that's when you buy a pair of shoes from them they'll plant five trees, I thought that was amazing. I thought perfect that's that company I wholeheartedly support and I will fully you know be into that I'm into that kind of marketing and it is a bit of a niche market but 
a lot of people my age are starting to move towards buying sustainable products and more ethical products. I want to start buying vegan based products, no leather, no nothing like that. Maybe wool because there are a few things about wool that mean it's like less uh, harm to the animals and stuff like that. But yeah, I'd have to do research about that if I wanted to talk about it. But basically my mentality is I'm vegetarian so I'm not actually vegan but my, my mentality is I don't want to kill animals. I do not want to do that, I do not want to hurt the animals. I just want to live my life alongside the animals, if that makes sense. So buying like vegan shoes, if there's no animal product like leather on it and stuff like that. So in buying these, I understand this is fake leather, these that is, and these won't last me very long. I know that, but I'm always checking to make sure it's not leather, like my previous mountain boots. Um, these, these have leather on them, so um, I believe these ones are not vegan, if I remember correctly. Um, but I do want to move into more vegan based products and stuff like that. So I am now with my wardrobe doing a lot more research into the products before i buy them which does take a little more time and can cost a little more but in reality buying the cheap thing for an item of clothing isn't necessarily the best thing to do because it may not last as long you see you could buy like a pair of 13 year boots they only last you six months and then you have to buy a new pair, so over a course of a year, you're paying, let's see, you're paying 23 euro a year for boots, and you're leaving, like, you're leaving a large amount of waste, like, these will just go into a bin. There's no real way of recycling them, there's no real way of, like, repairing them because they're not worth repairing. Like, it just, it's not sustainable. Where if you buy a pair like these, they can last a year, uh, if you're like me, because I'm, I'm not the most, uh, I don't look after my items of clothing as much as I'd like. If you look after your boots, these could last several years, like five years, uh, probably at most, I could have gone, but um, I wore these pretty much every single day, so yeah, they lasted mm. me a considerable amount of time considering how much they went through. And you know, if you think of that, like 100 years over five years, it's like, cheaper and more sustainable because it's a lot less waste and higher quality product and just generally more comfortable like i would be more comfortable paying more for a pair of shoes than paying a cheap amount for a bunch of shoes that's how i see it because it's a lot less waste it's a lot more sustainable you're supporting a company who probably is putting more effort into being more sustain sustainable and ethical like that company with the whole like planting tree thing um, I will get a pair of, of the of the ones I want eventually once they're in stock but right now I can't but yeah that's that's everything I have to talk about uh, again this is another little bit of a ranty kind of video where I ramble on a little bit about things but I hope there's at least some good information in there um, if you have any questions uh, about what the products I buy when it comes to my wardrobe or any products I want to buy please leave it in the comments below and I may make a new video about it or I will answer it as soon as I can anyways I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one